Hello. And I'm Leslie Meredith with Breakbulk. We're here at Breakbulk Americas in Houston. And I'm joined by Mark Falloon with Bechtel, who's just finished giving his presentation on risk management. Tell us, um, can you summarize your talk for us? Sure. Well, the, the, the subject was uh, managing risk for mega EPC contracts. And, you know, in summary, uh, you need to have a risk philosophy, and whether it's a mega project or a smaller project, you know, mega project being a billion dollars of value or more, you need to stick true to your philosophy and, and manage the risk, whether it's a large project or small project. Um, and ultimately, you sh should only accept the risks that you can manage. I mean, there's, there's lots of opportunities out there, and you need to be true to your company and understand where you bring value and what the value is for the customer as well as for your company, and don't take on more risks than, than you can handle. Um, do you see a continuum? Uh, as far as handling risk from different companies, and you talked about philosophy, what, what did you mean by that? Well, the philosophy being, um, I mean, there is a continuum of risk. I mean, there's, there's no question risk uh, runs the gamut uh, from geopolitical to natural catastrophe to operations execution. Um, so the, there's a, a wide range of risk, and uh, you, ne you need to be able to compartmentalize the risk and evaluate where you bring value and how you can mitigate those risks, whether that's by avoiding the risk, by accepting the risk and then reducing it through execution, uh, transferring the risk either by contract or through insurance. Mm -hmm. So there's a number of different vehicles out there and different ways for you to manage the risk. That's interesting. Do you ever see that um, there are some types of risk that people might tend to overlook more than others or might be less aware of that need to be brought to the fore? Um, because there's diff so many different areas of where the risk can come from, there's certainly risk that can get overlooked, um, which is why when you're evaluating prospects and looking at jobs, bringing together a risk committee or bringing together a, a group of individuals with varied backgrounds who have different areas of expertise is the best way to try to surface as many risks as possible. You're never going to be able to get all of the risks identified, nor are you going to be able to 100% de-risk the project. Um, but if you've got a good handle on, on the overall risk landscape and you've given yourself uh, a good holistic view, then you've got a good opportunity to, to be successful for the job. That sounds like great advice. Thanks so much, Mark. You're welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it.